bilaterans were successful, and after the most primitive bilaterans evolved into flatworms, bilaterans diversified throughout the world. In the Ediacaran fauna, uh, worms, and more commonly, the trails of worms are known, and so that bilaterans were present prior to the Cambrian period. Near the Cambrian uh, period, at the end of the Precambrian, some words, worms greatly increase in size, and some, such as Dickinsonia, are thought to be flatworms which, while only being about as thick as cardboard, could nevertheless get to be a meter long or two meters in length. Uh, and so, once again, uh, perhaps because of low oxygen levels in the air, there was a great advantage to being flat uh, and not needing a circulatory, respiratory, or urinary system. Uh, worms diversified then, however. They became more tubular. This uh, body shape is more adaptable to burrowing. And around this time, uh, burrowing through sediment, uh, becomes more common. We can tell this because fossilization becomes more difficult because of all of the organisms uh, stirring up the sediments. A number of modern organisms are uh, bilateral animals but are not uh, classified as coelomate animals, more complex animals with body cavities. Many of these are microscopic, and so much of animals' early evolution could have occurred in organisms not visible to the naked eye. Many of these are classified as worms. The term worm can be misleading because many uh, organisms are classified as worms, which are you know, virtually unrelated to each other, they are so distant. Worms range from being, you know, microscopic, very simple uh, acials and flatworms, uh, which are not that much more complex than uh, jellyfish, uh, to uh, nematode worms, which although microscopic, are uh, more complex and extremely common, to at the higher end, uh, uh, segmented worms like earthworms and leeches, which have uh, the body cavity called uh, the coelom and are very complex. And so during the Precambrian period, uh, worms uh, were evolving into a diversity of forms, and many of the vertebrates' uh, early ancestral stages passed. Uh, in uh, stages which are classified as diverse types of worm. These worms seen here, this leech and the earthworm, these are coelomate worms. These are more complex than the ones as seen previously. Coelomate worms have a coelome. This is a body cavity in which organs are hung. They have a larger brain, greater control over muscle contractions, uh, segmentation. Uh, these are all important uh, features which would lay the foundations for the body plans of the vertebrates which come later.